Himalayas. Key Monastery turned out to be my saving grace. To be honest with you, when all my footage was stolen, I was completely lost and really didn't know where to begin. And choosing to begin with my story of Key Monastery was truly a smart choice. Because with the miracle of my amazing memory, I am slowly starting to piece together all of the destinations of my journey into the unknown. One by one, the memories are coming back to me from Nanital to the Great Pine Forest to the deserts of Gyu and Rotong Pass. God bless this monastery for everything it gave me in the past and everything it's giving me now. God bless Buddhism. God bless this journey. Key Monastery, an oasis in the harsh and biting cold desert. This is what it's called, this area. Nothing more, nothing less than the cold desert. And I walked here on foot. I arrived definitely cold, <laughs> definitely tired, and definitely hungry. The wind never seemed to stop biting but it was something at this point that I was pretty used to. And I was looking forward to a good meal, hopefully. When we first arrived, they sat us in a hallway with a green carpet on a bench and we couldn't really, I couldn't really speak their language and they didn't really, the monks didn't speak mine but I expressed clearly to them that I was looking for some food and after around five or ten minutes they brought me a bunch of biscuits and provisions for my journey forward and it turns out that I had arrived at almost the perfect time for lunch. They brought me back into this dark room where there was a bunch of kids at that time who were having their meal, the kid monks, and we ate a really simple meal of just black beans and rice that day. Nobody spoke to each other. It was completely silent. And after eating more or less, I was on my way again. <laughs> 